Yo, what's up, sexy Sam Letter Squad? Today we're doing a ranked 21. I'm playing tier. Why am I playing tier? Because I always lose with tier. Well, I'm not going to lose this time. That's for sure. Against a suck your homie. Dude, I feel like every person I fought today, at least, has played Sukuyumi once against me. I fought, I've played like, you know, 10, 12 duels, whatever. Um, but I've only fought like five people. Like I've played a lot of the same people over and over and over. And every single one, I feel like plays Sukiyomi. I know he's super OP. I get it. I play him a lot. I understand it. I haven't been playing him recently. I actually don't know why. Oh, jeez Louise. I don't actually want this health pop, by the way. I want to get a chalice. And then I want to go blink. I wonder if it'd be better for me to not even go blink, actually. Or to not go transcendence. What if I just went, like... What if I just went first item crusher? And just tried to slap him. Like, absolutely decimate him. I feel like that's also a really good way to like go wrong because if I blink on him and I don't straight up murder that man instantly, then I have no sustain and I have no late game promises because you know, no trans. I talked myself out of it. I'm not going to do it. <laughs> I'm a little too spookeroonied. And yeah, my cooldowns are hella long. I should be good to double buff, though. I know Suck Your Homie has a lot of uh, clear potential. <clears throat> like, buff clear potential. He clears very fast because of his empowered autos and AO AoE autos and whatnot. But um, I also feel like tier clears kind of fast. Because he's got so many abilities. I saved my one for blue buff here. All right, he did just finish his first clear. His first buff, I, I, I'm not clear. Oh, he's not double buffing. Interesting. It's very interesting. Yeah. You're gonna poke me? And just lose out on all that XP? It's a bit weird. It is a bit weird. Hmm. I don't know, man. Is he in the right right now or is he in the wrong? Yeah, okay, he's definitely in the wrong. Never mind. I figured it out. It took a second. My brain was working. It was analyzing, seeing what's going on with the situation. But at the end of the day, he doesn't gain any advantage by not doing his buff. Like, you might originally think, oh, he gains a little bit because he gets all the gold of the first wave or something. But he really doesn't. Like, he just got to his speed buff. He's just going to um, wave now. He doesn't have any mana, so I don't think he can do red. If he does do red, I should be able to blink and ult and catch him off guard. And just straight kill him. So I'm going to go quiet for a second and listen for red. He is doing it. Okay, perfect. Perfect. So, we poke him out. We ult the wave. So now that he's he's losing all the XP of that wave as well. And he didn't even get the, uh, the red buff. So, his entire start failed. I'm just 200 gold up now. 
and I'm up a decent amount of XP. I will say, if you don't know what you're doing against that start, like the single buff start, it can be a little hard, I guess, to see where your win is at. But, I mean, fortunately for me, almost everyone I fight does that start, so I kind of adapted how to beat it now. I just think the double buff start is infinitely better. Like, he just cleared my wave, and I'm still ahead of him. <laughs> like, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Oops. Missed that minion. I do want to go get Breastplate, because cooldown. I wonder what his next item is going to be. Hmm. How much power do you get for your three? Yo, you actually get a lot, bro. What? I did not know you got that much power. I thought it was like 20, you know? But your maxed out three gives you 50 power and 50 protections. Huh? That's so much. I feel like I just learned something extraordinary. Hello. How are you? Oh. Okay. Well, there's his alt. No shot I don't kill him here. Ah. Uh. Damn. Not killing there feels really bad. He had one HP. That feels really bad, man. All right. Oh, hell yeah. That felt good. Canceling his shit with a dash in my blue stance. That felt really good. Hmm. Huh? Huh? Oh my god. Dude, maybe I'm good at tier now. <laughs> okay, maybe not. Probably not good at tier yet. I can get there, but, you know, if you're taking my current skill level and saying good or bad, I gotta be honest with myself and probably say I'm dog shit, but... I could get good. I could get good. Alright. Hopefully he's not doing my blue buff because did the speed. Oh he's not. Perfect. Hello, demon. Dude. The tier combo is so powerful when you actually get to pull it off it's it's kind of rare that you get to pull it off to be honest because i feel like a lot of people have jumps and leaps and stuff that you can just run away from you but Tsukuyumi doesn't this is actually it feels like a good matchup for me it didn't like when i loaded in i didn't think oh this is gonna be easy you know i thought i was in for another ass whooping but I don't know. It feels like he can't really do anything to me. Because if he walks up to stun me, I either won him in my fearless stance and the, or I won him in my blue stance. I don't know what that... My power? Defensive? I don't know what it's called. But 
Long story short, I won him. Hey, yeah. Yeah. All right. Beads and alt down. Beads and alt down. Perfect. Perfect. I don't know, man. I don't know what he can do. I guess he did double stack, right? That's probably a big no-no when you're fighting someone as early game present as tier. Normally, you only double stack against people that can't really beat you back for it. But, I mean, nobody's beating you back harder than Tyr. I wonder if he's going to Bull Demon because he sees me going for red. It would be a good play. I, I wouldn't lie. It would be a good play. Hmm. I'm surprised he didn't. He's checking it. Oh, man. Come back to me. You are so fast. Whoa, why'd you, why'd you turn back? What the? Why'd he turn back, dude? I didn't even ex I didn't even look at killing him there because I never crossed my mind that he would ever turn back to me. Ever. I have 3700 gold, huh? Okay. That's pretty casual. A pretty casual amount of gold to still have. Um I do have max cooldown now, so I don't need blue buff anymore. I'm just going to go for speed buffs. I gotta make sure that I'm standing on that buff whenever my blue buff runs out. Which I don't think I will be. Oh, I suck. Come back. No! Come back. Come back. You keep turning. Why did you turn so much? Why did you turn around so much? You really like... If you just ran away, you were fine. If you just turned and ran, there was a 0% chance I literally ever catch you. But I don't know. It's weird because turning and attacking me does technically apply a slow on me. But you're also slowing yourself by 180-ing and then backpedaling. And then also your attack animation, like your auto attack animation. You have to take that stuff into account when you're trying to run. It's not always the best play to use a slow. Hello. There's no way you want to fight me here. There's no way you want to fight me here, gentlemen. Oh, okay. Okay. Maybe he does fight me if I literally walk into his Phoenix and then get stunned. Because I'm level 18 without a second relic. That makes sense. That does make sense. Uh, do I want... Do I even want Heartseeker? Because I could just go movement speed and then, like, run circles around him. <laughs> I'm actually kind of down. I'm actually kind of down to just run circles around him. Speed buff and, and Witchblade and... What is it called? What is this? Relic Dagger is what that's going to be. 
Also, could have gone sprint. Uh, let me see. I could go Toxic Blade too. That is 7% movement speed. And also go Shield of Regrowth technically. It's a heal. Hello? Can't run this time. Can't run this time, baby. I am far too speedy. Nice. All right, that should be the Phoenix down. He's dead for quite a while, so we're chilling in that regard. Um, do any of these items give me cooldown? Which blade does? And Relic Dagger does. So actually, I can sell a lot of things and just build attack or movement speed. Because right now I'm at 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60. I have 60% cooldown. <laughs> okay. Probably, probably not the most optimal build you've ever seen. But god damn am I fast. Damn it. Oh. You wanted to befriend me? You wanted to hang out? No. No, no, no. You do not walk away with with sprint. You don't just walk away from me. I I have 500 movement speed just by default. That's crazy, man. I think tier doesn't need too much damage and like he doesn't need too much damage and he doesn't need too much defense because he gets it from his three so instead you just build movement speed on him and you got the best of every world possible i don't know he's pretty pog I, i'm sure there's supposed to be a dance here right or uh music i don't know but I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And until next time, guys, peace.